In September, Apple released iOS 18, bringing a slew of new features, but Apple intelligence wasn't quite ready. Now that Apple has released iOS 18.1, this update marks a significant step in Apple's AI integration. While not all Apple intelligence will be available, 18.1 introduces several enhancements that make your iPhone smarter and more intuitive. In this video, I'll walk you through some of the new features. Let's get started. The control center in iOS 18 is completely customizable, but there was no way to roll back your changes if things got messy. Fortunately, in iOS 18.1, Apple added a simple way to start fresh. And to do that, what you'll do is you'll open up the settings app, locate the control center, and then you'll go ahead and you'll tap on Reset Control Center. This feature is perfect if you've made too many changes and want to return to a clean slate without manually rearranging everything. Writing tools in iOS 18.1 include a powerful proofreading function. It not only checks for spelling and grammar, it also suggests improvements in word choice and sentence structure. You can accept all the suggestions with a single tap or review them one by one. So as you can see, I'm inside the Notes app and I have a note opened and I am just gonna tap and highlight all of the note. And you'll see, once I do, writing tools will pop up in the toolbar area, but you also see that it pops up just above the keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on writing tools. And you'll see I have all of these different options, but in this one, I'm just gonna choose the proofread option. I'll tap on that. And it's going through its changes and it says that there is one change. So if I tap on original, well, you'll see the change here, it's underlined. And that's the change it wants to make. If I tap on original, you'll see that the two was missing. So I'm gonna tap on original again, and it, it changes it to try to. If I wanna accept that, all I have to do is tap on done, and it now accepts that, and you'll see that try to has been added to the note. What if you need to change the tone of, the, of your message? The new rewrite tool can help, whether you want your text to sound more friendly, professional, or concise. This feature can adjust your writing style without altering the core content. It's like having your own personal editor helping you communicate more effectively. So again, I highlighted that same note and I'm just gonna drag the highlighting tool up and down again so that the toolbar appears. I can choose writing tools here, which I'll do. And now I have the option to rewrite this if I want to. I can choose friendly, professional, or concise, and then that will change this note to make it that you know make it so so that it's friendly, professional, or concise. I'll tap on rewrite, and it'll go ahead and rewrite it for me. And when it's finished. I can read through it to see if I like the new uh, note, how it's written. And when I'm finished, I can go ahead and tap on done. If I don't like what's here, I can go ahead and just tap on revert and it'll take it back to the original note. If you suffer from inbox overload, this feature may be for you. Now, when you receive a lengthy email, you'll see a summarize button appear in the upper right-hand corner that lets Apple intelligence create a concise overview. You can also select the whole message. So if I tap on it and select the whole message, 
I can tap on writing tools. And then I have the option if I want to, to choose summary, key points, a bullet list, or a table. So if I tap on key points, you'll see it goes through the email and then it tells me what the key points of that email are. I can go ahead and tap on done. I can also choose summarize in the upper right corner and now it'll kind of give me a little summarization of what that email is about. Siri can tap into Apple's vast database of product information, helping you understand features, locate settings, and even provide tutorials on how to complete tasks. It's like having Apple support baked into your device. So now you can ask uh, questions to your device. So if I say, hey Siri, how can I change the color of my app icons? You'll see it appears at the top of your device. And so this enables you to check out many features by just asking for help. Group chats got a lot easier in iOS 18.1. You can now choose to summarize multiple message notifications on your lock screen, giving you a quick overview without needing to open the app. To make sure this feature is turned on, you'll want to go to settings. So let's locate settings. Let's tap on notifications. And then we're going to select summarize notifications. Make sure that you have this toggle switch turned on. And then Below that, you'll see uh, apps that you have the option to toggle on these particular apps if you want to receive summarized notifications from them. It's easy now to relive your favorite memories using the new memory movie feature. You'll just provide a brief description. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on create. I'm going to type in Pickleball 2024. I'm going to tap on the up arrow and it will put all of those pictures together for me. And when it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and tap on done. So I'm just going to swipe out of there for a second, tap done. And you'll see that it created that memory using relevant photos. And if I tap on it, it also adds music. And I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that. But it adds music. And so you can create your own memories with just using a short description with minimal effort. In iOS 18.1, you can turn long recordings into digestible content with the new transcription feature. So when you record audio in apps like voice memos, which you can see that I have opened right now, and what I've done is I've opened up a recording that I've done. If I tap on the little transcription feature here in the bottom left corner, you'll see that it will provide a transcript of the voice memo. And this will also work in apps like Notes um, and anything where you can add audio, you'll find the tr new transcription feature. Apple's AI also allows you to reduce interruptions. You can control your notifications with the new Reduce Interruptions focus mode. This feature filters your alerts, showing only the most important notifications that need your immediate attention now. So as you can see, I'm inside the settings app. And if I tap on focus, you'll see the option here for reduce interruptions. If I toggle that switch on, so it's toggled on. And once I uh, turn this focus mode on, it's only going to allow things that it that Apple intelligence feels need my immediate attention 
get through in the notification center. In iOS 18.1, you'll also have the ability to record phone calls. So to do that, I'll, I'll make a call to my sister so that you can see how this works. So let me do that. Hello, okay, I'm recording this call, so you should see a message. So I'm going to tap on this um, icon in the upper left corner. And when I do, it says this call will be recorded. It should announce it. Once it announces it, as you can see on the screen, the phone call is being recorded. And when I'm finished with the phone call, I'm going to go ahead and tap on end. Thanks, Suze. You're welcome. So now I've ended the call, and that call that I recorded, you'll find it in the Notes app. So let me show you that. I'm going to swipe out of the phone area, and let's come in to the Notes. And you'll see at the very top it says, Call with Susan Sweeney, an audio recording. I can go ahead and tap on that, and then... You'll see, if I tap play, you'll see that whatever I said during that phone conversation and whatever Susan said, those, that call was recorded, and you can find the location of that call in the Notes app. Another new feature that is uh, pretty neat is that reading long articles is about to get easier. So when using reader mode, you can tap on a button to have Apple AI summarize the article for you. So I have a, an article open on my web page. If I tap to the left here and tap on this, and then I tap show reader, you'll see at the very top, it shows me uh, an option for summary. And so this feature gives you the main points, allowing you to grasp the article without reading every single word. With iOS 18.1, Apple has taken a major step in integrating its AI capabilities, enhancing the user experience with features that increase functionality and personalization. Key updates include the ability to reset the control center, advanced writing tools for proofreading and rewriting text, email and message summarization, and enhanced Siri product support. Additionally, users can now enjoy features like memory movies, call recording, and improve focus mode to minimize distractions. These innovations in iOS 18.1 reflect Apple's commitment to making iPhone smarter, more intuitive, and user-friendly. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.